like to wow your guests with a five-star recipe straight from a New York top chef? Well, according to Chef Hope Fox, anyone can do it for a lot less time, money, and aggravation than you might think. Here's Julie with more. It's a beautiful, elegant French restaurant in New York's Tribeca neighborhood, and Chanterelle's chef and co-owner David Waltuck recently won the James Beard Award for Best Chef in New York City. So only a top chef would dare to try to recreate one of his signature dishes, right? Wrong. Meet Hope Fox, author of the cookbook Impress for Less. She spent five years touring top restaurants around the country to create home versions of their famous feasts. I really wanted to be able to share that great cooking with everyone else out there. So Hope met up with David in Chanterelle's kitchen to show us how it's done. What are we going to make today? Well, we're going to make a version of a recipe that I serve often at Chanterelle. It's a uh, striped bass with a red wine and uh, with red wine butter sauce and sage. For the home version, Hope suggests a couple of small changes to David's recipe. Use fillets instead of a whole fish and cut out the two tablespoons of demi-glace. You can still get a good flavor without it. He uses that in his kitchen, but I'm a home chef and I don't feel like spending three hours in the kitchen doing that. First, to make the reduction sauce, mix chopped shallots with a splash of red wine wine vinegar and two cups of red wine. A kind of a bright, soft red wine, uh, not too much tannin, not too much acidity. Put it on the stove and simmer for about 20 minutes while chopping some fresh sage. Yeah, a little finer than that. You're doing a really great job. Keep it up. Then combine the sage with butter, garlic, salt, and a little lemon juice. Oh, it smells wonderful. I love it with the red wine vinegar. Okay, time to go back to your sauce now and stir in two sticks of cold butter. <laughs> So, so we have a sauce that's not too thick, it's not too thin, it has a certain body, it's got a really pretty color. Then finish it up with a dash of salt and pepper. That's good. Easy so far? Well, now it's time to prepare your fish. When I do this in the restaurants, I, I add an extra step where I peel back the skin and butter in between the skin and the, the flesh of the fish, and then fold it back over and cook it like that. For a home version, there's no reason to do that. Flour and season the fillets, then heat the oil and saute them skin side down with the butter and garlic mixture. The sage is getting a little too brown. It's a good time to just drain it. Once the fish is cooked, add sauce and sides to each plate and serve with a nice red wine. A beautiful, fancy restaurant dish prepared in just about 30 minutes. David, this is so spectacular. Thank you so much. Thanks for helping cook it. Can't wait. Cheers. That looks magnificent. I don't know about you, but I'd love to cook that tonight. She made it look so easy, didn't she? For more ideas on how you can impress for less, visit Hope's website at impressforless.com. This has been Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the weekday television program Better, your source for styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city. Thanks for watching.